Good morning, I'm Lonnie West and today I'm going to show you how to get the Google Nick collection working in Corel Paint Shop Pro X8 64-bit. I've been a Corel user for many many years and one of the things I loved about version X6 was that it included the Nick collection as part of the package and I found it very useful for correcting photos, uh, adding some special effects, uh, color correction. Unfortunately, when I upgraded my computer to Windows 10, upgraded my Corel Paint Shop Pro to X8 64-bit, I found that I no longer had access to my NIC collection. Um, Google has recently announced that uh, the NIC collection is free for download, and when you install it, um, it'll, it'll go in, but it doesn't recognize Paint Shop Pro as a valid application, so you have to do a little manual moving of files around, but it does work very well. So let's dig in and I'll show you how this is done. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go visit www.google.nickcollection and uh, you'll see that uh, Google's announced that it's uh, now free and if you hit the blue download button it'll ask you if it's a Windows or Mac download and you'll download it and install it. Uh, running an installer is pretty straightforward. There's no toolbars or add-ins or anything like that. You just walk through the dialog. Uh, you agree to the terms of service. So the first thing you want to take a note of is where the destination folder is for the entire NIC collection. And for my computer, it's in C Program Files Google NIC Collection. Jot that down. You're going to need this for later. Um, as you go through the next dialogues, it'll, it'll scan your system to see if there's Photoshop or any other applications that it recognizes. If so, it'll put the plugins in, in that application folder. Unfortunately, Corel Paint Shop Pro is not recognized as a photo application so it won't install anything in Corel's folders. This is why we're going to do it manually. So you'll just next through it and install it which takes several minutes to run. I've already done it on mine so I'm going to cancel here uh, as I already have everything on the, on the computer. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the folders where the NIC collection is actually installed to by default. Now this is the same one in that you saw on the installer, Program Files, Google, Nick Collection, and you'll see that there are several folders with all the plugins, which is great. So the next thing we would need to know for Corel is where are the plugins for Corel PaintShop Pro normally located. So if I fire up my PaintShop Pro X8, you go down to File, Preferences, File Locations, and you'll see a bunch of file types down here. We're going to go down to Plugins, and right now, it's just the basic, uh, I have not added anything to my uh, Corel installation other than what was installed there by default. So I see that um, my plugins are located program files, Corel, Corel Paint Shop Pro, blah, 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 blah. So let's go find that folder. In my case, here's my full folder path. Program files, Corel, Corel Paint Shop Pro X8, 64-bit, plugins slash en for English. And right now, the only thing in there is the perfectly clear, which, which came with uh, Paint Shop Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this NIC collection that was installed over here into my um, Paint Shop Pro folder. So just to make it clean, I'm going to have a separate folder for this. So I'm going to go up one, and I'm just going to copy that folder, the NIC collection. Right-click, copy. I click paste and that'll show up over in my Corel folder and if you go into it you'll see all the folders are there I'm going to uninstall the uninstaller because I don't need that in my plugins so all you should have there are just the folders for your plugins now paint shop pro only recognizes plugins have been added when you first turn on paint shop pro so I'm going to go ahead and close paint shop pro and then I'm just going to restart it. And as it starts up, it will scan the plugins folder to see if there's anything new in there. And if we're lucky, if we go into our effects folder under plugins, we will see we now have the NIC collection. They're all grayed out right now because I don't have any photos open, but once you open up photos, these will all be there. The one that was originally in uh, PaintShop Pro 6 was the Color Effects Pro. Uh, so you have a bunch of other really neat tools here. Uh, Define is a great uh, noise reduction filter. 
Uh, there's a lot of analog photo filters and sharpening tools and whatnot. Uh, my main tool that I used was the Color Effects Pro. Uh, so that's it. Um, if you don't find that it's uh, showing up in there, take a look again at your preferences, file locations, your plugin folder, and make sure that uh, the folder is enabled and use subfolders is checked. Uh, that tells uh, PaintShop Pro that you're going to look in this uh, plugins folder and scan everything, all the subfolders in there. So that's important that that is checked. But that's all it takes. These plugins should work great for you in your 64 bit version of Corel PaintShop Pro X8. Good luck, happy editing.